what's up so I have no makeup on because I wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine and I haven't done one of these in a long 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 time so I thought it was about time for me to update that video and my routine has completely changed well at least I think it's changed I haven't watched my old video so yeah anyways this is just what I do on an everyday basis and let's just get started so the first thing I do is moisturize my face now I've been using a whole bunch of these Derma E products Derma E did send these to me but I'm not at all sponsored but yeah these are just the things that I've been using and so I've been using this hydrating serum this one right here so I've been using this uh, first to put it all over my face just to act as like a primer kinda which it really isn't a primer it's just a um, what you call it has hydraulic acid, so I just put it on my face just to prevent any pimples from coming back into my skin. So then I put my primer on. I'm using this one currently. It's the Makeup Forever Step 1. We can focus. So I'm using this one right now. And this one is for smoothing. It's for the smoothing primer. I know they have a couple of these. I want to try them out because I am looking for a primer. So I just grab some of this and then just apply it to my face. And then I just put some lip balm. I use the Kiehl's Lip Balm, number one. So I just use this, and um, I freaking love this. I just apply some to my lips. Alright, so I use two concealers. I use the Instant Age Rewind for my under eye circles. And I use the Bye Bye Under Eye for, not for your under eyes, but for my pimples. So I put this on instead of using it for my under eyes. So then I take one of these, like flat like foundation mini brushes and I just put some on my pimples that I see around my face. After I do that I apply some there and then I just put my under eye concealer on. Put it on in a triangle shape. So I put that on there and then I just blend it out with one of these like fluffy little stippling brushes. This one's dirty, so I'm just going to clean it off on my little rag over her. And then I'm just going to go in and blend it all out. I blend it a little bit and then I just go in with my fingers because, you know, these are your God-given blending tools right here. So I just blend it all out. Sometimes I just don't even use the brush. <laughs> I just go in with my finger. So after all that's blended out, I'm looking like a ghost. <laughs> so I put on some powder foundation. I'm not a big fan of liquid foundation. So I'm just using the Milani powder foundation in the color Fresco. I'm usually natural or Fresco depending on the season. So I'm using Fresco and I just use one of these powder brushes. This is the e.l.f. I don't remember what it's called, but it's one of the e.l.f. brushes, the new ones. Um, so I just use that to put on my powder foundation. So after that, I use, um, I go in with my bronzer and I'm using the, what should we call it, what is it called? The Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. That's what mine looks like right now. Hip pants so long ago. I just use one of these angled brushes to apply my bronzer. So just pack it on there and just put it on your, chisel out your cheekbones. all out and it looks kind of weird on camera but real life it looks pretty good and then I go in with my blush before I do any of my eye makeup I do my face makeup I'm just gonna use this palette right here the Park Avenue princess palette for my blush and I'm just gonna take that blush right there just take this powder brush that looks like this I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks Now for the eyes, I pretty much just use one color for the crease. I'm using this Tartlet palette, and it smells so good. And I'm just, I just pick a random brown color and I just put it on the crease. It's pretty much whatever I'm feeling that day, that's what I'm gonna use. So today I'm using Jet Setter. This is just this like brownish color. I'm just gonna apply it to my crease. So I'm just using a fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna apply that to the crease. I don't put any like eyeshadow primer. Um, for some reason I just don't apply that anymore, um, it just works out for me. 
this is what works for me so whatever works for you if you have to apply some primer go ahead um but i haven't been doing that i should but i haven't and it just it doesn't uh crease on me which I'm blessed that that doesn't happen yeah that's pretty much all i use from this palette i use some other colors whenever i'm feeling in the mood to go wild with the neutrals uh, but yeah so the next thing i use is my urban decay um, naked basics palette and i pretty much just use the which one what is this color venus from the palette right here it's just a shimmery inner corner tear duct area kind of color i'm gonna use a flat little shader brush like this and i'm just gonna grab some and just apply it to the inner corner of my eye and it just brightens up your eye area just makes you look more awake if you're doing this when you go to work or something you want to look more awake it puts pop some color in your inner corner works wonders so the next thing i'm going to do is my eyebrows so i'm just going to take this angled brush right here and i'm going to take my anastasia what is it called the brow powder duo and the color soft brown um mine just looks like this now because obviously i use this so it just looks like this. So I'm just going to take the lighter shade and pop that in my the first part of my eyebrow, whatever this is called, and then the darker color on the outer. So let's just work that in. Once I think my eyebrows are as good as they're going to get, I apply some clear mascara. I just use this, um, what do you call it, Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara, and I just apply some on my lashes next we'll work on the eyes recently i have been using this lancome eyeliner and it's like the best eyeliner i've used so far it's the art liner and it just says lancome and it's one of those like felt tip liners it just looks like this and it's like the most pigmented thing you've ever tried and it dries matte it's not that like I don't like the look of like wet eyeliner, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, you shake it up and you just apply it. It gives you, it gives you like so much control. Um, I like line liners with like a handle like this. You can get more precise control over it. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little and I'm just going to apply my eyeliner. So I just go pretty much halfway, um, almost to the inner corner, not that much, because recently my eyes have been watering so much that it just ruins my makeup. So why even bother going all the way? Because I used to do like a cat wing in the inside and then a cat in the outside. You've been with me for the longest time ever, but I've just been doing this um, for a while now <laughs> and I like it. So after I do my eyeliner, I go in with my mascara. I am freaking, freaking, freaking loving this mascara right here. It's the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, this gold packaging one. Oh my goodness, this is like my favorite mascara ever. I already bought a backup because I did get sent this by Influencer to try it out and I am in love. So I'm just gonna apply some mascara to my lashes. And this doesn't clump at all, like seriously, this is awesome. I love this mascara. All right, so the next thing I do is apply my bottom liner. Use the, uh, what you call it, the L'Oreal Infalli Infallible Lacquer Liner 24 hour. It just looks like this pot right here. And I'm pretty much almost done with it. It's just the blackest liner. It doesn't budge and I freaking love it. I've been using it for the longest time ever, ever since the hip liner just stopped existing because that was my favorite liner ever. And I just apply this to my upper lash line and my bottom lash line. And then I just go in with a um, smudging eyeliner brush pen thing, my bobber, and I go in with a black um, eyeshadow and I just blend it and smoke it a little bit and just set it. And that's pretty much my makeup. And then I go in with whatever lip color I feel like I feel like wearing that day. So I'm feeling like a little brownish color today. So I'm gonna use ColourPop's. This is called freaking frack and I'm just gonna apply some It's like a nudie dark color 
So this is pretty much my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial talk through. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed these kind of videos, like a little chit chatty talk through video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell thing that lets you know whenever I post a new video. And I love you guys and I hope you guys subscribe to me because I'm trying my best to put out videos uh, more frequently. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, 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 o